Hansen is this year's runner-up with its King's Dyke Nature Reserve, which has been created from 50 hectares of disused brick pits restored to a variety of wetlands. There are extensive areas of high-quality reed beds linked to the wider Great Fen project by linear wet grassland. These are inhabited by species like marsh harrier, reed warbler and willow warbler. There are also over 30 ponds, several of which hold translocated populations of the rare bearded stone crop. The wetlands and grasslands support a range of important and vulnerable plant and animal species, including great crested newt and water vole. Also notable are large areas of open mosaic habitat on previously developed land, which are home to invertebrates as well as unusual lichen. Invertebrate specialist Bug Life has undertaken some fascinating trial work here. This site's an amazing site. It's heavenly for bugs. It's got plenty of places for bees, beetles, butterflies, water beetles, grasshoppers, crickets, lots of bugs to, be, to breed, bask and burrow into. Less is more and not too tidy. Keep it rough, keep it ready because that's the kind of things that bugs love. Our judges particularly liked Kings Dyke's comprehensive action plan and the design and management of its habitats. And once again, there is real local involvement. The work has been managed by consultant ecologist Phil Parker. What we're looking to do here is to be able to get machines in on a fairly regular basis, scrape things out, turn things over and, and keep that, that ephemeral nature of the habitats going. And that benefits such a wide variety of species.